Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have a small update on the Bitcoin price because we are still pumping here to the upside. Uh, this morning uh, we bounced here from the 20 moving average here in the one hour time frame. As you can see here we have the support here on the pink line right now and uh, the price is just pumping like crazy right now and uh, we are moving towards our main resistance up here at 11,200 uh, as expected. I closed my uh, long position uh, uh, this morning as you know because uh, I saw this future gap also below of us so I was waiting here for a retrace that didn't happen so far so maybe we're gonna close it when we top out somewhere up here and then go again to the downside uh, let's see but uh, I believe that we are on the way to 11,200 and uh, I'm not chasing the market right now so I'm not in a position I wait that the price comes to me so if we retrace to one of the fib lines like here the 0.5 or the 0.618 at, uh, at around 10,000 I will open a long position there if this was the local top for now but uh, it is possible that we first gonna straight up here to test uh, this line and also as you know we have a future gap at 11,800 up here so it could be that with this move you're gonna break this uh, structure that we are in right now that we destroy this descending triangle that we are in right now uh, this would make everything much more bullish but it's also possible that we're gonna test even up here the 14,000 or go even higher if we already right now break the structure so uh, it is very important what's gonna happen right here if we're gonna retrace uh, uh, before we touch here the resistance um, if the price comes to me I will open a long position I will not look for a short right now um, but uh, it, it, for now the momentum is again shifted to the upside for sure also you see that uh, we came to the 50 level here um, we were overbought we came back down again and we again have enough momentum to the upside stochastic was oversold so here was a good opportunity to long uh, but of course you cannot just trade upon of one indicator um, this morning it, it was uh, it looked like that we might could retrace here um, but uh, we just bounced from the 20 moving average in the one hour time frame if we go to the four hour it looks uh, even more bullish because here uh, we're staying in overbought territory in the stochastic and the RSI is going higher and higher here uh, in overbought territory uh, so here we could even retrace to the 50 um, back to around 10k and then bounce from the 50 line to the upside and maybe with that push we can break here the resistance that is upon of us and although the 20 moving average is right now here in the four hour at 10,074 so we might retrace here to the 0.5 fib line and then bounce to the upside there I would open along but I wouldn't uh, chase the market uh, right now when the price is just pumping if you are in a trade congratulations then you're on the wrong uh, on the right side um, but um, chasing the market is too risky I don't do that anymore I did this a few times in the past and I always lost so I don't do this anymore I just wait that the market comes to me and not the opposite here in the daily you can see that we successfully broke through the 50 moving average which is at 10,400 so we have to close today above the 50 in order to continue to the upside if we break down tonight below the uh, 10,400 we close on the 50 or, or below then I think that we're probably gonna stay in this range here between the 20 and the 50 daily moving average so between 10,170 and 10,400 but it really looks like that we're gonna close uh, today uh, above of the 50 moving average which is a very bullish uh, sign uh, also we we were able to go above the 50 here in the RSI so in my opinion the momentum now is definitely to the upside look for a good long position especially if we have a retrace back to around uh, 10,000 uh, markets always give a second chance so uh, also if you missed out uh, or you closed too long too early um, never mind it's always good to be in profits uh, not to be in a loss uh, or miss out a trade then uh, lose a trade so yeah also here in the weekly uh, it looks still bullish uh, the RSI is uh, we didn't touch the 50 but it's bouncing up again we are way not in overbought territory um, stochastic is oversold so here also it, there is nothing that could um, uh, 
telling us something against a big move to the upside so that's why although if you look here on if you zoom out and have a look here on the bigger picture it looks like that um, we could go up here to the 0.786 fib line based on the top on the all-time high that we had and the bottom here uh, so I believe that we could go up to the 16,000 uh, if we break from the structure retest the 14,000 and break also this one maybe at 16,000 there we could see also some FOMO kick back in uh, maybe also some altcoins uh, gain momentum again and bring the price also uh, for Bitcoin and it close to the all-time high here um, I believe this move here between the 16 and the 20,000 will be very fast especially FOMO kicks uh, in um, and we have now one confirmation that we, we almost tested here the 20 weekly moving average so we have the confirmation that this is a valid bull run and uh, as long as we're staying above of this above the the 9200 uh, there is uh, actually nothing um, against a new all-time high even in this year so let's see and if you want to trade also on Bybit if you want to go long or short you can find the invitation code for Bybit uh, uh, here you can get up to $60 for free right now if you put a deposit of uh, 0.1 Bitcoin and also if you don't have already a Nano Ledger S a hardware wallet for your cryptos you can get it for a discounted price now on Amazon um, here are the links and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel because uh, I do every hundred subscriber uh, Bitcoin giveaway so if you want to participate on that uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also tick the little bell and with that Zach guys are gonna wrap it up and we see us all in the next one bye